Howdy, sir. Good. How are you? Awesome. There you go. Let him uh, let him know who you are and uh, lay your question on us. Rob. <laughs> Okay, so this is my question. I know you said uh, don't give the backstory. Um, so my question is, how do you help people and still make money? Um, to kind of explain what I'm asking is, sure. I have a very specific niche market: um, police, fire, military. That's who I want to help. That's who I want to affect because I know they need it. Um, so how do I help them? Help them save money, but still make money. I'm a firefighter. Um, I'm prior service, I was an MP, so I know exactly what it is that police, fire, and military do sure. and go through. That's a and unique perspective you have. And how much money they make. Sure. So I want to create something to where um, they're able to get everything that they need when it comes to being that tactical athlete, but not have them spend the money that they would have to spend if they were going to your run-of-the-mill certified strength and conditioning coach. Yeah. And you want to train these people in your facility, I imagine? Do you have a facility to yes, train sir. them in? You do. And so if you train them in a group environment, you can charge them a fair rate without you going bankrupt. Agreed? Yes. Okay. So do you train them in a small group, large group? How do you train them? So the facility I'm in now, uh, the problem is I don't have my own gym as of yet. Perfect. I'm contracting in four different facilities as it is already. Um, so what's happening is the, my main gym, they don't want me to have big groups. It's, a, it's more of a corporate setting. So they put limits on what I can and can't do. Rob, I've got your answer. <laughs> are you ready for this? I'm ready. You're gonna go into the online info space. There are military, police, and firefighters worldwide. And just three weeks ago, I was in this town running the Fit Body Mastermind. I was at the Omni Hotel, three buildings away. And as I go down into the lobby, someone's like, Pedros! And the face, you know how the face is familiar, but you're like, who is this guy? Six years prior to that, he was sitting in a one-day mastermind with me and Craig Ballantyne. He's a firefighter. He created a firefighter fitness program. And I said, look, there's firefighter publications, right, like, like industry journals, like we have the Personal Fitness Professional Magazine and Idea Fitness Journal, et cetera, that he can target, he can rent their mailing lists, there's Facebook groups, and he goes, you haven't seen me for the last seven years, I took your advice, I've got a $140,000 a year business now where I coach firefighters online through my info product, and now I'm writing a book for the firefighter industry on fitness. And so, you're gonna do the same thing across those three branches or two branches that you want to do. But it's an online business. This is how you keep the price low, right? You have massive reach. You build, I mean, you articulate well. You're a good-looking guy. You're jacked. You can sit. <laughs> <laughs> Show off. <laughs> and, uh, oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. All right, you got me there, <laughs> asshole. All right. And you're going to have an online business. The offline version of that will never work. Okay. It's too time constrictive, right? I mean, look at the schedules they're on. Why don't I, in, in next week, I'm speaking in New York, and from there I go to, with my son, uh, I'm taking him to New York where I speak, and then from there we're flying to Columbus, Ohio. My friend is on the bomb squad, which is attached to the fire department. And we're going to sleep at the fire station and go on runs with him, he says, because he's the man and he, we can do that, apparently. But <clears throat> I know his schedule. His name is Bobby. His schedule's a mess. And so there's no way they can even come in into a gym on a regular basis. They need a program that they can follow along on their days off or in the station or whatever. So what you're describing is you've got a great model, it's just not supposed to be offline, it's supposed to be online where they can download to their doohickey and then watch it and do it. Make sense? Makes sense. All right. I appreciate it, sir. Good man, you're gonna help a lot of people. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Hassan. How are you? Good, good. All right, tell everybody who you are. My name is Hassan. This is a little nervous. Um, so my question is, how do you, when you're talking to clients, when I'm talking to clients, how do you get them, the first thing they ask me is how much do you cost? How much do you cost? So my goal is I want to get the clients from cost to actually showing up at a consultation so I, can, so I can show them exactly like what we do and how we can help them. But the problem I'm having is they don't want to continue the conversation um, past like until I tell them like how much. And if it's too sure. much, they don't, you know, they kind of, are hesitant. Good. And they're typically asking you this via email or a private message or over the phone, correct? Correct. Okay. So what's really happening is they are right now price shopping instead of value shopping. 
they probably did a Google search or a Yelp search. They found the top three or four personal trainers or boot camps in their area, and they're just dialing for dollars to see who's the cheapest. So what you're gonna do is I want you to create a 14-day fat furnace program, which if you just go to my blog, ptpower.com, the whole sales copy is there for it. I give it away to you guys for free. Just go to ptpower.com, search 14-day fat furnace, and there's the whole copy. But really, all that is 14 days for $47. So now, let's role play. You're gonna be the person who is price shopping. Okay, sounds good. Ring, ring. Hello, this is Bedros' Fitness Center. Hey, I was interested in your services. I just wanna know how much. Oh, that's a good question. Um, how much weight do you have to lose? I'm curious, what are your goals? Um, I would like to lose about 50 pounds, but I just really wanna know how much I'm on a budget with like three kids. Oh, sure. We have programs that range from one time $47, and that's our popular 14-day fat furnace, all the way to ongoing $197 a month, depending on what your goals are, how many times a week you can work out here, and of course, whether you want us to do monthly measurements and nutrition consultations or not. But before we can invite you in to become a client, we first need to do an assessment to see if you'll be a good fit in here. So what I'd like to do is let you try our workouts five days in a row. We'll get to meet you, do an assessment, tell you which of our programs would be best for you. If it's the 14-day fat furnace, then it's gonna be $47, or anywhere between to our most flagship product, which is $197 a month. And if you're a good fit, then I'll invite you to come on board. Could I just do the 14 day fat burners for 14 days to the end of the year? Absolutely, you can do it for 14 days and see if you're a good fit. That's a program that we do for clients who have typically five to eight to 10 pounds to lose. I heard you say that you have 50 pounds to lose. So do you think you can lose 50 pounds in 14 days? No, I don't think so. So can I help you lose it and keep it off and live a healthy and happy life? That sounds pretty good. And what if I promise you that we will be the most cost-effective program for you? <laughs> you're good. <laughs> you're good. You're good. good. You're good. good. So you're going you're gonna to transcribe this piece of the video, okay. right? And you're going to use rev.com, R-E-V. All of you write it down, R-E-V.com. You can transcribe any video, any audio for that matter. Mm -hmm. Uh, for like pennies from rev.com. You're gonna transcribe this piece so that you have it in writing and you're gonna watch it and see my mannerisms and you're gonna read it and have the script so that if you don't pick up the phone, you have one of your team members pick up the phone, they're gonna just follow that script and it roadblocks every objection they give and gets them right in. Okay. Good man. Thanks a lot. My pleasure. <laughs> hey man. How are you? Really good. Hey guys, my name's David. I'm actually from uh, Sydney, Australia. Made the trek out here, so Thank it's you. been Thank worth, you uh, worth every hour and things. Question's going to be about when low barrier offers stop converting. Not they're not converting. Yeah. Really, really, really quick backstory. Pretty much built most of my business off low barrier offers, reading a lot of your stuff, so thank you for that. It's uh, been amazing. Um, but lead costs are starting to creep up. Yeah. I expanded to a, a bigger facility last year, and it's coming to frustrating to expand a bigger facility, more rent, and then have lead costs creep up, and the, uh, the bottom line has taken a bit of a beating from that, so that's the question. Is um, it the same low barrier offer that's not converting or others are not converting, converting either? I keep mixing it up, changing the day, changing the names, changing the pictures, um, but overall the costs are increasing. Sure. Lots of places in the area are doing very similar things. Right, and so is, the price goes up. Sure, yeah. So I'm gonna lead off by two things. Number one, Facebook now has lead ads. Instead of low barrier offers, lead ads, where you actually get the email address, in yep. exchange for three free workouts, right? And then you do the monster follow-up yep. that I talk about to convert them. So I've been using lead ads. Yep. I started that a couple of months ago, and that worked well for about a month. I'm just finding that the quality of leads is just very, very hit and miss, because okay. you get some that are really quick. But I haven't been doing like free workouts. I've been trying to do a low barrier offer via lead ads. So a 21 day, 14 day, get on the phone, and sometimes they're just really flaky or they're just all over the place. Sure. So it's had its moments. So I've still got Our business is all about follow-up. So just get used to the habit that the heydays are gone, right? Because everyone sees what everyone else is running at low barrier offers and they do it. That's why when I put something new out to you guys, this is why my coaching clients get in the year at advance, get, get the low barrier offers that we create and stuff. A year in advance, they, they suck out all the clients from their community before it ever makes it out to anybody else, the industry. If you wonder why you know, coaching clients also get such a great result so fast is because they're on the cutting edge of what we're putting out there. But the other thing you can do is keep in mind that, so let's talk about not converting. Let's say that you spent $500 on your best low barrier offer, right? $500 for your budget. Sure. These days, how many 
What would that offer be? Is it a 14-day fat furnace? I've done, I've done four weeks a lot. Four weeks for how much? Uh, I actually sell them over the phone on that. So our process is they apply with a phone number, get on the phone, and I sell them at about you know, $250 for the four weeks, like $200, $250 for the four weeks. Got because it. I do it on the phone, okay. I can sell them Good. Stop right there. So if we spent $500, how many people would you get on the phone, do you think? Lead ads, probably 10 to 15, like $10 a lead. Yeah. If it's like onto a landing page and then convert, I find that's more pricey because it's one more step. Uh, $25, $30 a lead, $35 sometimes is creeping up for a lead. Yeah. So let's say it's $25 a lead. That means for every $100, we're getting four leads. That means for $500 spent, four times five is 20. So for 20 people that you get as leads, how many of them will end up on the phone with you? Yeah, so again, lead ads versus the lead ads are a lot more dodgy. Um, 20 people will probably get on the phone five to 10. And then I convert quite highly, have a sales trainer as well who's doing some selling, doesn't convert as highly. But um, if we had 20, like that would probably be like two to five people would get converted into the program for from 20. So I try to get about 40 leads a week. All right, so I'll stop spending... right there. Blah, 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 blah. Good. Let's catch everybody else up. That's cool. We spend $500 on Facebook, you get 20 leads. Of the 20 people that you got as leads for free, about five to 10 end up on the phone with you. So let's split the difference and say seven. Yep. Seven end up on the phone. Of the seven, you close two to five? Yeah. I found a good week five, for sure. Okay, so let's just say on average you close three. Yep. Let's be very conservative, three. Three at $200 a piece, right? Yep. So that's two, four, $600. So that tells me that you spent $500 on Facebook and made $600 back on the front end. Correct. On a four-week program. Correct. Of those three people who bought a four-week $200 program, how many of those will stay on board for a, as a long-term client? Conversions probably 50% or under. 50%, so one and a half of those people. So let's just again be very conservative, say one of those people will stay on board and how much you normally charge per month? Uh, anywhere from, yeah, 200 to 400. Probably like $3,000 a year would be the current client. 3,000, so that one person that stays made you $3,000 sure. in one year. You, my friend, don't have a lead generation problem. You have a budgeting problem. Mm. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Throw more money at your ads. Samantha, am I right? She spends like 10, $20,000 a month, Yep. right? And by doing that, you're gonna lock out your competitors who are still playing like an amateur, the childish game of a couple hundred dollars here and there. Mm. So you're a closer, you know how to close over the phone, so go all in. If it's 500, if you're constantly closing at these numbers that we talked about, keep increasing your budget by 25% every week, every mm. week, every week. And at some point, you're gonna, they're gonna see all your ads and not your competitors' ads. You're, they're gonna suck through, Facebook is gonna eat up the competitors' ad money and keep showing your ads to the, uh, to the community, and you're gonna keep closing them. So what used to happen was, though, we would, see what you're looking at is, man, it used to be like $3 a lead, right? Yep. Or buck fifty a lead. I get it, that was great, that's fantastic, mm -hmm. but it doesn't happen anymore. Yep. But as long as, even if you were breaking even on the front end, in other words, you spent $500 and you got $500 in, well, if we know one or two of those people are gonna give you $3,000 over the next year, you're golden. Sure. So now increase your budget, keep increasing your budget by 25% every week, and you will crush the competitors and keep closing over the phone. Does that cool. make sense? It does. It's just a new way of marketing. Yeah. Good man. Thanks so much, Pedro. Yes, sir.